हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी सेवन वो हैव डिस्कसड अबाउट कैप्सर बैंक्स देयर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टैंडर्ड एंड देयर कैलकुलेशन दैट इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट देयर कैप्सर बैंक्स द साइज ऑफ कैप्सर बैंक कैप्सर बैंक्स आर जनरली यूज टू इम्प्रूव वोल्टेज प्रोफाइल एंड पॉवर फैक्टर विच इन टर्न हेल्प आर टू रिड्यूस लॉसेज In this lecture, we will use ETAV for calculating the size of capacitor bank to improve voltage profile and power factor. On this channel, you will learn about various electrical design softwares like ETAV, Dick Silent Power Factory, PV Sist, Dialex EO, and AutoCAD. In addition to these softwares, we will get technical information related to the electrical design today is our lecture number 38 of our free course in this lecture you will learn how to find the size of a capacitor bank using etap software in this lecture we will use capacitor bank for improvement of voltage profile and power factor this is our etap software and we have considered two similar systems this is system a that is and this is system b two they are similar this you can see here the transformer rating is 30 kV and here the transformer rating is also 630 kV everything is same the load is 600 kV and load is also higher 600 kV you can double click on here you can see also the power factor is 85 here and same the power factor here is also 85 everything is same and we will perform first load flow analysis and see what are the voltage profile on the, on this system and then we use the capacitor how to then we use the etap to calculate the capacitor bank size and After placing the capacitor banks, uh, we will see how the improvement is done. What is the improvement? We can see that. First of all, we will go for the load flow analysis. Mm. See, here the voltage is. You can uh, You know this voltage is a grid voltage. This is beyond our control. You can see here our voltage is ninety one point one four percent here, and here the voltage is ninety one point four one four percent. Because the, both systems are same, so the results are also same. Bus three and bus thirteen, uh, the voltage profile is very low. That is ninety one point one four percent. Suppose we want to improve this voltage profile. To ninety-eight or hundred, and we want to also improve the power factor of the uh, system. So for that, we can use the capacitor banks. We have to use the capacitor banks. This is the optimal capacitor uh, placement. We can click here, and then one minute, we can go here, and then go to edit study case. in the edit study case you can go to the voltage constraints in the voltage constraints we have selected bus 13 and bus 3 because these two buses has a 91.14% of voltage uh, drop, uh, voltage that is almost 9% of voltage drop is here we want to improve the voltage profile of these two buses so we selected these two buses and edit here here you can see the default setting is Maximum one hundred ten percent and minimum ninety eight percent. Okay, we can change this default setting by as you are wish what you want. If you want to hear hundred and you want to hear ninety five, but we have selected here ninety eight. And here is a global constraint. We have to keep also here the same. We can keep it one hundred ten percent to ninety eight. Whatever the settings are here, you can should keep also here. Then go to power factor uh, strains. One minute, I will show here. I have selected in the info tab objective of the 
this capacitor bank. What is the objective of the, uh, this capacitor bank is to both. One is voltage support, another is power factor correction. I selected both. I need that. Uh, I am using this capacitor bank for improving the voltage profile and power factor. Now go to power factor color standards. In the now power factor color standards, you can see the maximum power factor is hundred percent and minimum power factor we want. Uh, we want to improve from 85 is the power factor we want to improve from 85 to suppose I will take 90 okay and here it is also minimum power factor it should be 90 okay was 3 and 13 I need this was to improve the power factor here I can select the capacitor you can select the capacitor here this is the size of the capacitor here you can select and one minute okay hmm. and click okay now go to here it is an optimal capacitor uh, optimal capacitor optimal capacitor placement you run here uh, now you can see here uh, what is saying that i can explain this one this is total five uh, banks are capacitor banks are needed total kvr of the capacitor banks will be one uh, four five seven total amperes will be 77.6 and rating of the capacitor will be 11 kV and each capacitor bank should be 300 kVAR so now we will place here the capacitor bank with this specification so that our voltage is approximately saying it will go to up to 98.56% now we can go to edit, edit here and place the capacitor here I will place only uh, in one uh, uh, system because we will want to compare these two systems and see how is the voltage profile updated and how is the power factor updated we can double click here and go to the ratings and here i will select the kvar i will select the 300 and number of banks is 5 as per the result maximum kv is 11 okay and click okay now i will perform again the load flow analysis and see the results okay now here the you can see here it was first 91 percent now the voltage profile here is 102.1 percent and here the five capstar banks each of 300 kV. Yeah. This is how the capstar bank has uh, the voltage profile of the capstar bank has the voltage profile. The bus 13 has been improved. This, uh, if you want to generate the reports, you can also generate the reports here. Report manager, you can select complete PDF and OK. You can okay. This is the PDF report complete PDF report. You can see here. This is the complete report. You can perform your load flow analysis and capstar back placement and then generate the report and analyze this report. I can close it. If you go to again one minute, I will show one more thing. If you go again here. And this will be here and then again. Oh, because now the capstar this voltage has improved, that is why it shows this error. Now the uh, voltage is within the limits, it is not outside the limits what we have sent set. Okay, thank you.